Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum students. This is a October 2023, okay, N41 variant and extended four paper. So let's try to solve it. Question number one, we have a topic of transformation. And first part is asking what describe fully single transmission which maps? Maps means shifting, ships, okay. Shifts what? Ships A diagram on the B diagram. And you know, before on to, before on to, the thing is called object. And after on to, the thing, the, the object is called image. I mean, the, the thing, the letter, the uh, triangle, we can say, is called image. So it means A on to B. You can see this A is here and B is here. So short story, this is going here. Some student think by mistake, this is shifting there wrong. Be careful. Uh, be, before on to is A. So this is objects of the sake of understanding. I'm writing O and I'm writing I. So this object shifting to I. So first of all, what this uh, thing is going to, going to be. Okay, I just show you. I believe, inshallah, you will understand. This is a triangle and let me erase this O and I because it's decided now. So this thing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It means it will move seven boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one down. So it means this, if you check again, uh, a six left hand side, Okay, six left hand side, seven, sorry. Let me count once again for you. One, let's count from this point to this point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes, left side and one down. And you know the rule, right hand side is a positive, left hand side is more negative. Upwards positive, downwards negative. And because I'm going six left sides, so I'll count negative. And then, and then one box downward, so even negative. So this is called translation, translation by column vector negative seven and negative one. And I believe there's nothing, nothing hard. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Okay. Now he's asking next part, shape A onto shape C. And you know, before onto is called object, after onto is called image. So A is shifting on C. So this is object and this is image. So it means make sure, so this is going there, not this one coming here, right? Make sure. Now, naturally, this is, this is a, you can say this shorter side is, is this shorter side, side. It means this is not a translation. It's a hundred percent rotation. Okay, and even in reflection, okay, it reflects, but it will not rotate. So this remains like that only. This only. This only. This only. So it means it this is not reflection. So this only. This is a hundred percent rotation. Okay. So let's try to find it. How a is shifting on c. We have two ways to find center of rotation. First of all, we will find center of rotation. And that is using the tracing paper because in the British Council, tracing paper is allowed. You can see, uh, he will tell you here. So tracing paper is allowed. Okay. Um, let me check the, yeah, you can mention on the top maybe here. Graphical instruments. Okay. And and they will provide you. Uh, okay, so you don't mention here, but they will provide you tracing paper. Okay, so tracing paper is they will provide you. So you can use tracing paper. Okay, and uh, uh, what is the method to do? You will, uh, uh, for example, draw this object, this object, and you will see this one how it's rotating how it's rotating and it's shifting on C, okay? So if I look at carefully, so first of all, so this object, 
this object will you know it will it will not go uh, translation wise it will rotate so you understand how rotation i'm going to show you so this point <clears throat> so what is expected center if we check it carefully so where we can they make 90 degree for example this to this no it is not coming 90 degree it is not meeting okay so i I'll, I'll check uh, actually i'm checking with this point with this point okay so how it possibility is there so how we can make it if uh, if i try this way and this way you see this is a 90 degree okay even even if i try to meet with this point so this point to this point it is also 90 degree okay and i can tell you counting boxes technique even from this point if i count uh, you will see inshallah two three look again one two one two three so two three okay so two three two three two three so you see what is angle between these two lines 90 degree so i think you got the some idea okay is it just to work with a tracing paper or with a common sense we can get it anyway let's try to do this one so one two three one two three so it means three boxes three boxes so if i rotate three boxes three boxes three boxes three boxes so three boxes three boxes three boxes three boxes you see so it, it, it from here to here it would go how much this angle 90 degree okay so i think this idea you understanding some extent a little hard to understand make it clear but anyway i think now we can work with the last point even and the last point is what for example two and one two three four five so two boxes and five boxes so two boxes and five boxes two boxes and five boxes two boxes and five boxes again what is the angle between these two point this the starting value and end you see what is angle between the first and last 90 degree so i think the idea is very clear and i can i can tell you uh, first of all if you want to see what is situation now between these two things okay so what is this 90 degree so this is called clockwise and this is called anti clockwise okay so naturally this is we can say here this is a clockwise going on okay because this arrow also matching so clockwise and center what five and one so five and one so i think i can write clearly it is a rotation center five one and clockwise 90 degree clockwise 90 degree clockwise So I think this part is very clear and let's go for next part. Uh, this bit easier, the shape A after reflection, Y equal to 2. And that's just as my, st my students, whenever you start graphing the person, so this is called equation of x-axis. And equation A, this is x-axis, but it's equation of x-axis is Y is equal to 0. This is Y-axis, but what is equation? X is equal to 0, opposite variable equal to 0. So I think the point is very clear. So if I ask you if this is naturally, if this line is y is equal to zero and this passing through one, this is called y is equal to one, passes through two, this is called y is equal to two. So we are looking for where is y is equal to two. So reflect the tri shape A, A shape we have reflect in the line y is equal to two. So first I will array, I will erase this and I will draw. So let's draw y is equal to 2. This line, you can see clearly, this line is y is equal to 2. Because this line is y is equal to 0. So this line is y is equal to 1. And this line, y is equal to 2. So now I want to reflect this shape, this triangle A. So let's, uh, you know, the rule. If the mirror line is here and how much object is away from the, uh, the, uh, the mirror line, same the image. Same the image. So how much this image is the same object? So distance from the mirror line always equals to each other. So in this sense, I can say here that what is distance one, two, three, four. 
or if down from middle line, one, two, three, four, downwards. Downwards, where's the image? So one, two, three, four, upwards. This is my reflection of this point coming here. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. Count up one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a point. I think you got my point clear. So let's talk about this one. One, uh, one, for example, one. <clears throat> you can see here, uh, it is a, this is what? One, two, three, four, five. So count from here. One, two, three, four, five. Hold on. From middle line. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. So I think clear idea. So if I, if I join it, if I join, if I join it, I get this kind of triangle. And I believe the point is very, very clear. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. We able to finish this part easily. So part next one. He's saying shape a enlargement. We do enlargement and scale factor negative two. Negative two, center zero, zero. So negative two and center zero, zero. Center zero, zero is here. I will mark first of all center. And what shape we have to talk about a shape. And scale vector negative two. So let's count. We can do in two different ways, counting boxes and using scale technique. Scale technique is very easy. Before I start scale technique, I take it with L letter, M letter, and there's an N letter. Okay. Now I'll check first to follow how much and from the we're using a scale. See, this is a is is a how much this away count one two boxes left side. So this one two it means this distance is two multiply by negative two. So actually the two boxes and two to the four boxes. Let's repeat one and two boxes two to the four. But negative mention going back if it's a positive sign we count same way one two three four. So this n will shift here. But as is a, if it's a positive two, we'll move in the same direction. But if it's a negative two, we'll go in opposite direction. So how we can go opposite direction? So this is a negative two. So one, two, three, four. So it may, it will come here. So this point I mark. Can you see? This N will go here. I'm writing here N dash. Okay. Same story. I will count for L. For L. For L. Okay, students. So this is what how checks. Now it is the, the first one I erase. Now count this one. So how many this one? Let's count. One, two, three boxes. And three into three times two, negative two. I got negative six. So negative six. Negative means don't go this direction. Backward direction. So count six and backward direction. So count. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a point coming here. Okay, slightly rotate the scale. And I think you've got my point. This is coming, this is, this is L, this has become L dash. Okay, so I got uh, this line is very clear, alhamdulillah. And you can see if I remove the scale, there's a one, it become double because into two, is that is reason. So this is done. Now last point, I use scale and get it. That is the M letter. Okay. And I'm going to do M letter now. So let's start M letter. Same story we'll do with the M letter. Okay. So you see, students, see, if you check it carefully, one, two, one. Again, I count it from here to there. So let's count. So one, because actually I'm counting these lines. One, you see, you see, one, two, three, four, five lines. Okay. So I'm counting once again for you. One, two, three, four. Not five, it's four boxes actually, okay? So one, two, three, four. So this is a four gap. From here to here is a four gap. And four multiplying the negative two. I got negative eight. Now negative means don't count same direction, opposite direction. So count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is a point. This is called M dash. Okay. And it means this to this is eight boxes, but backward direction. And I believe it's nothing hard now to make it. So let's do it final format, final uh, uh, the shape. And if you uh, look at here, and this, and uh, I should bring it down, this L dash bring down. So if I join now, okay, wait a minute, I'll make it again. All right. Okay. <laughs> I think the idea is very clear. 
Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, this part is also clear. Okay, so now this is done. The question number one is completely over. Question number two. Question number two is what he said. Find S when A is this and T is 20. Okay, and I will simply plug in. So simple plug in. So half times two A value. And I the very best favor, use the brackets. Okay, and power two on the top. The power two come on the top. So this is A. So A is 9.8. The first bracket. 20 comes in second bracket. So be careful while putting. And he's one uh, two marks. So at least one mark it is for uh, for showing this step. Okay. And then you can show the uh, final answer. And S is coming with us 1960. Let me check half into 9.8 into 20 square. Correct. And one my answer is 1960. I think this part is very clear. This is a three mark question. So five multiply and five multiply. Be careful. We have two choices. We can multiply also, or we can bring this five divide there. Okay. Both applicable. So four by the three, and this one five will go down 15 by five. And this will give you what three. So you can have two choices. You can multiply inside, or you can bring on the other side. Same like this 2x equal to four. So where this two will go, two will divide. Like x equal to four by two. Same. I have done it here. This 5 will go under 15. It's the same story. I believe both okay. You multiply inside or you bring other side, no issue at all. Now this 3 will go on the other side and becomes sign will change. So 4y is equal to 3 already present and this negative 3 will go there. Common sense become plus 3. Okay. Now 4y is equal to 6. And now this 4 will divide and then divide. So 4 because it's multiplying here will divide there. So we come like this and y becomes two threes are and two twos are. Or you can write 1.5, both are correct answers. What well, three by two answer or, or 1.5. So I believe this part is very, very clear. Let's go for the next part. So, but here, look at last time we have an equal sign. So I, we brought this five on the other side. Here we have no equal sign. So we cannot bring on the other side. We have one choice only left here, multiplying inside. Multiplying inside, multiplying inside, and multiplying. So be careful. Three fives are, it's becoming 15x. Three times to negative eight, it's becoming negative 24. But here be careful because outside negative sign will change the signs. So if it, if it do it, negative two into positive three, negative into positive, negative three to the six, and negative into negative, it gives us positive. And two sevens are 14. So now I will deal 15 and 6 separate. Okay, you know, 15x positive and 6x negative. Opposite sign subtract, I got 9x. So plus 9x coming from these two values. And negative 24 and plus 14. So naturally, negative 24 and plus 14, opposite sign subtraction, I got 10, but bigger negative sign. So this is our answer. And I believe the point is very, very clear. <clears throat> okay. So let's go for the next point. And next point is what here? So this is 9x minus 10. So let me write finally. Okay, so this is okay. And the below question, he's asking subject. This is it very important? This kind of questions come, coming regularly in exam papers, okay? In paper two and four both. So let's try to do this one. So how do we, what is C subject? Okay, C is here, right? So we have a three troubles. Trouble number one, the negative sign. Trouble number two, this three multiplying. And last trouble is a cube. So best technique, how to eliminate the minus sign if I bring this whole A and A on the other side. So job number one is over. Sign, negative sign gone. Negative sign gone. And make sure this, sometimes we have two Cs, but we have one C only. Okay, this is a clear. All right, so after this, what to do onwards? Onwards, we can do... Uh, because now this negative sign eliminated, I got a positive sign. Now this three is disturbing to us. And you know it very well, I give, give an example. If two X equal to four, so this two will divide like X four by two. Same story, this three will divide. So C cube is equals to two B to power two minus A over three. Done. So division criteria is over. After this next plan, next plan and another property I will teach you. What is that? When any power goes on the side, it will flip. Okay. So means, for example, if A by B, I have an equal to C, this value will go there. So power will flip. Power A by B become B by A. B by A. Okay. So same story. What is the power here? Three. 
and three has nothing under it and it has one. So when it goes there, we flip. So it will become what? It will become three, become one by three. I think this point is very, very clear. Okay, n by three. If you stop it here, full marks, but for your knowledge, one by three is also called cube root. So you write this way or you write this way. Look, I'm writing now. So this property, don't forget it. This property is a very important property. Okay, so a final answer I'm writing, you could write like this or you write cube root. Because for your knowledge, both are okay. You can take any, any so even one by three or this is both are 100% correct. Okay, this is okay. Let's go for next part. Next person we have is S factorization completely. So we have a four terms, okay? So from these two and from these two, I can take common out. Okay, so first of all, from these two terms, what is common? If you don't know, just do rough work. So 6PQ and minus 4Q. So naturally, first common number a letter is a QQ matching, QQ matching, Q gone. So 6P left and 4 left. Now a table of 2, 2, 3, za, 2, 2, za. So what is common from both 2Q? So 2Q is common out. And in the bracket, what left? 3P minus 2 left. 3P minus 2, 3P minus 2 left. Okay. And you can see this 3P minus 2, same, but the problem is the sign's opposite. Do you know, student, I taught many times, if this sign, this sign and this sign are opposite, if they are opposite, if they are opposite. So here I will take negative common always. This is a negative comes. Reason to change to make them same. If I take a negative common and one common, so this negative 3P will become positive 3P. And this positive 2 will become negative 2. And look, they are matching now. They are matching. But let's say if these signs are already same, then I will take what I have plus common. Make sure. Okay. But current situation, I will take negative common. I think idea is very clear. Now, do they match? Yes, exactly match. So 3P minus 2, I will take common out, students. If I take common out, look, it gone. It gone. What left behind? 2Q and minus 1 left behind. So 2Q minus 1. So 2Q minus 1. So some students getting this answer, some students, this will be before and this later. So order different order. So no problem at all. Both are correct answers. Okay. I mean to say, if you get this answer, 2Q minus 1 before and 3P minus 2 later, no issue at all. Both are correct answers. So let's go for the next question. Question number three says what here? Uh, <clears throat> average distance of the Mars from the sun is this much. Okay, kilometers, write this distance as an ordinary number. So this is called standard form or it's called exponential form. We have to convert back into ordinary number. How we can do it? Power eight. So first this number I will write two, two, seven, nine. Problem is that after we have nothing, after that we have nothing. And we put some extra zeros. One. Two normally eight eight I mean it will jump eight times. This decimal will jump right side eight times. For example, decimal is here. It will jump eight times. One two three four five. So I will put three more zeros and let's count again. Decimal is at this place. Count one two three four five six seven eight. So decimal will come at this level. You write this decimal or you don't write no problem at all. So I believe you got a point clear. So two, two, seven, nine, and five zeros. So let's go for the next part. Uh, 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 Uranus, okay, the planet Uranus this has a diameter, this 38, 5.8 of the diameter of Jupiter. Okay, so it means naturally Jupiter is bigger, and uh, and and we can say that Uranus is a is a, is a smaller. Okay, I have a two ways uh, I can do it. So one is a cross multiple method percentage, and I'm writing here uh, diameter. Okay, diameter is counted in kilometers. Okay, now he mentioned that. Uh, this is a diameter of Uranus, has a diameter of 35.8 of the diameter of Jupiter. So, and Jupiter is given here, diameter 143. Okay, so 143, 143 and triple zero, I will take as a full, full means 100%. And I want to know that 35.8 of this value is equal to how much? I believe you got my point, cross multiply. 
a vector from a cross multiply x multiply with 100, it will become like this. And 35.8 multiply with that number, it will become 1, 4, 3, triple 0 into, one minute please, let me drag back, into 35.8. And this 100 will divide. Okay, it will 1, 4, 3, triple 0 into 35.8. Again, one minute, please. Okay, 0.8 divided by 100. And let me check. <clears throat> one, four, three, triple zero into 35.8 divided by 100. My answer is coming with me 51194 kilometers. This is one method. Okay, I believe you got my point. This is a method number one. Okay. We have a second method even. I'm going to show you that second method. And what is second method, students? Have a look now. So uh, second method. So this is a uh, you, uh, you, Uranus, the diameter that this much. So is deal as equal sign of deal as a multiply? So U R A is equals to 35.8 time percentage mean divided by 100 times two diameter of Jupiter. So Jupiter, Jupiter, okay? And Jupiter is actually equal to this number, right? So if I plug in the number, I will get my direct answer. This is a method number two. And then the one, four, three, and triple zero. You see, all this is the same writing style, okay? An answer is coming same, five, one, one, nine, four kilometers. Uh, um, and we can write in 3SF also, it, if you leave it here, full marks or 3SF. I need, I need, I need, I don't want. So this is bigger than four, add. So 512, 512, and double zero. This is a, a another a rounded form, okay? So let's go for the next part. Next part is saying the ratio of the diameter of Neptune, Neptune, okay, Neptune, Neptune and, uh, and Saturn. So two things, uh, Neptune and Saturn, we have to decide. So ratio of the diameter of Neptune and Saturn uh, is one ratio N. So let me write the both diameters, hold on. Uh, Neptune is given here this, and Sa uh, Saturn is given here this. So I'm writing it now here. Four, nine, five, double zero, ratio. One, two, five, double zero. Okay, now he said that, we look at carefully. So first digit, I need one here. And second number is my answer. So why not divide by four, nine, five, double zero, okay? So if I divide the whole numbers, all both numbers, four, nine, five, double zero, both sides, you will see, you will get your answer. So four, nine, five, double zero, four, nine, five, double zero. So this is cancelled. We can give you one, but other side one two five double zero divided by four nine five double zero. It is giving us. <clears throat> wait a minute. Just once again, he is asking for a Neptune before and Saturn later. Wait a minute, please. Neptune. I think I wrote in a yes Neptune before. Yeah, Neptune. You write before. Okay. And and one minute, we check again. Mm -hmm. And uh, Saturn, Saturn, Saturn. One, two, oh, I missed zero. That is the reason I, uh, I missed one zero here. So I have to write here one, two, zero. One, two, zero. And five, double, zero. So one, two, zero, five, double, zero. Now, if I check it again and type in my calculator, one, two, zero. It is giving us 2.4343 onwards. So this is my answer. N value is 2.43. You can see here. Okay. I hope so. This part is very, very clear. <laughs> and let's go for the next part. And next part, what is asking for students? Uh, they find the average distance of Neptune from the sun as a percentage of the average distance of Earth from the sun. So so look upon top here, Earth mentioned here, and Neptune here mentioned. So we are looking for the uh, the diameters, average distance of it, average distances. 
Okay. And he said that again, we have a two techniques a one cross multiply, one the direct. Okay. Whenever he's mentioned that Neptune, we have to calculate as a percentage of the Earth. So, whenever as a percentage comes, that is always bigger. So, with this, it means as a percentage of Earth. So, Earth, I will take as 100%. Earth, I will take as a hundred percent. So Earth is a 1.49, 1.496, and um, 1.496 into 10 to power eight. Okay, and this is a taken, and then now this is a distance kilometers. You know it very well. Okay, and second distance, uh, uh what he said about Neptune, and Neptune is this one. So four point. 4.49 into 10 to power 9 is equal to what? I hope so you got my point. So let's see how we can uh, get it. So in uh, cross multiply simply. So when this multiply with that, so it turns to be x times to 1.496 into 10 to power 8. And this multiply with 100, so 4.495 into 10 to power 9 and into 100. Okay, this will give divide down and ultimately we will get our answer 4.495 into 10 to power 9 times 200 and divided by 1.496 into 10 to power 8. And if we type this in calculator, students, let me check. Uh, yes, I typed just now and I got at 3004.67 percentage. But we need, we need, we need, we don't want. Which you don't want, bigger than four? No. If bigger than four, we add, otherwise we don't add. So it means percentage is coming 3000 percentage. And I believe this part is very, very clear. Okay. Uh, second method, if you want to know before as whatever comes, that will come in numerator, Neptune, Neptune, and divided by. As a percentage, what after coming is Earth is coming down and 200. That's it. There's a way number two. If you look at carefully, the same thing. Look at here, this Neptune, this is 100, and this Earth is denominator. So I think there's nothing hard, same thing. There's a second method of finding percentage. So let's go for the next part. <laughs> And what next part he's asking here, next question he's asking here with, uh, so distance within the solar systems, uh, system are also measured in uh, astronomical uh, units AU. Okay, so let's see now how we can find AU units. Okay, and uh, if we look at carefully, the average distance of Jupiter from the sun is 5.20. Repeat, repeat. So Jupiter to sun is taken as a 5.20. An average uh, distance of Mars to Sun is a, uh, and we have to measure. Okay, so uh, what is the method here? Uh, first of all, look back here. Uh, distance of Jupiter, and he talk about. Uh, now he asked the Mars. Okay, so look on the top. Okay, Mars and Jupiter. Okay, so Mars is is given here. This one you can see, and uh, and 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 other other value Jupiter is given here. So these two values we have to look upon. <clears throat> okay, so uh, two I guess we write two point two seven nine in ten to power eight. This is for m. Just some writing m. Okay, and Jupiter is is seven point seven eight six into ten to power eight. So these two values I will take. And I shift on the other page, which will help me to solve the question. Okay. So now look at here now. <clears throat> he is saying here very clear the distances with, within the solar system are measured in AU. The average distance of is given by this. So this is actually a Jupiter. So it means this is measured by equal to, I mean to say, uh, this is this put them equal to each other. Logic is very clear. Now I'm writing here uh, kilometer distance and I'm writing AU. So five, uh, it means uh, because you talk about Jupiter, so this value I'm writing in front of it. 
So 7.786 into 10 to power 8 is equal to 5.20. Okay, 5.20. All right. And uh, the other distance, 2.279 into 10 to power 8 is equal to how much? So there's a cross multiply. It will multiply there. It will multiply there and we'll get our answer. So I think now you got a point clear and now I'm going to finalize the answer. So uh, X times to 7.786 10 to power 8 equal to 5.20 into 2 point. So wait a minute, students. Just slightly back. So 5.20 into 2.279 into 10 to power 8. So this value is multiply will divide down in turn to be this form. 5.20 into 2.279 into 10 to the power 8 and divided by 7.786 into 10 to the power 8. And final answer, if you check it in calculator, is coming 1.522. Okay. And he did not mention you can write 1.52, even no issue at all. Okay. But 1.522 is our answer. And approximately, we can write 3SF, you know. And we read 3SF, so we just turned to be 1.522. 5.2. Okay, so I think this part is clear. And let's go for next part. Uh, the diameter of Mar is given this much. At 30, okay, he said greater, you see. So you can see here, the diameter of Mar is 39.2% greater than the diameter of Mercury. Okay, so the mercury we have to find. Make sure diameter of Mars is 39 or greater, okay, as compared to mercury, okay. So this is a, a it means I can say that Mars actually is equals to uh, 100, already 100 I will take as a mercury, okay. I will take a mercury as 100%, okay. So this becomes, so it will add. So 139.2 percentage. I believe you got a point. Repeat again, diameter of Mars 39.2 greater. So greater means I will add in 100 with Mars, Mercury, I will take 100% and, uh, and that is added. So I think you got a point clear now. And, and let's see now diameter of Mercury and Mars. So Mercury and Mars. So uh, Mercury is here and Mars is, is not mentioned. 6A00 we need. So this uh, mark okay, six eight double zero. So once again, once again, Mars is six eight double zero, six eight double zero Mars. I'm writing here percentage. I'm writing here kilometers. I'm writing here Mars kilometers uh, is is a uh, six eight double zero. And I keep this and this Mars percentage in front of each other. So one three nine point two. And I want to find equal to what? So this is a cross multiply. X multiply with this and this multiply with that. And then I will divide it. I'm just showing directly this time. So 6800 into 100 and divided by 139.2. I hope so you got my point. And if I divide it um, and I get my answer, what for actually answer is coming? 488. 5.05 but i need i need i need i don't want yes i will add because this is bigger than four so four eight nine zero kilometer is our answer and i believe the point is very clear uh, the next part he said one e light year is a distance of the light travels is a this many years so naturally you know 365.2 day five days it takes to travel Okay, it's called light year, one light year. The speed of light, uh, speed of light is uh, this, we can say that uh, time because days is our count as a time. And here he said that speed, speed is given here to minutes per hour. And he asking that one light, uh, in, and he, this is a distance. You can see, I just help you the units. This is called speed. And this is called distance. And I believe you understand very well. We have a formula. Distance is equals to speed into time. Distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. So sometimes if you confuse, you can see the units. So speed is given 2.9979 in 10 to power 5. And time is, but problem is here. One problem we're facing. What is that problem? These are days and this is a second. So it means we have to convert days 
days to first of all days convert to um, in days how many uh, in, in one day in how many hours so there are hours in hours how many minutes in minutes how many seconds I believe you got my point so into 24 here into 60 here into 60 here so this I think story is very clear and now I'm going to keep the values here so this time is actually 365.25 days but I will convert into now first into 24 then into 60 and then into 60 this is actually time and I got my answer and let's type in calculator so 9 it is coming with me 9.46065 into 10 to power 12 kilometers Okay, but we okay, we have to round this one. So I need, I need, I need, I don't want. So actually, it is a uh, if uh, if you look at carefully because did he mention here? Oh, he mentioned four SF. Make sure. Then we have to change the plan. So I need, I need, I need, I need, I don't want. So this is a bigger than four. Yes, add one. So it turned to be nine point four six one in ten to power twelve kilometers. Okay, so Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, I believe that is the answer for, for that part. And here this is also clear. And let's go for the last part of this question, part, question okay. Distance for distance. Again, is distance given. So just write a small this right word distance. Okay, and time calculation we have to do. Time calculation we have to do. So make sure time is our question mark. And you know this formula, you know, if, if I need a time, students, so speed will go down. So time formula is very, very clear. We have a, a distance divided by speed. Okay. And what is the question he is asking for? Distance from um, from a galaxy, okay? So a galaxy, this earth is given here, distance. So distance is given by him, okay? And distance, I can write it here, 2.40 in 10 to power 19 kilometers. And speed of light is mentioned, you know, it will... Uh, given on top, um, hold on, let me check again. Uh, yeah, here, on the top. Wait a minute, here, given, here, here. So this is a, you can say this one, um, uh, speed is given, so I'm just writing it below here. So, so and wait a minute, let me recheck what he's asking for here. No, 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 wait a minute, students. He is asking what here, the distance of A to, uh, to the Earth, next to Earth is this much distance, distance, okay? And time taken, we have to calculate to uh, to galaxy, okay? So naturally, you know, uh, speed is, um, uh, it is very clear, uh, nine point, uh, exactly. We have this answer, the previous part. So distance traveled, we have given here, okay? So, uh, <clears throat> so this answer, we have to use it here. I tell the logic. What is the logic behind? 9.461 in 10 to power 12. Okay? okay? Because he's asking us what? He's asking us that um, uh, that we have given here uh, that calculated time taken for the light to travel from galaxy to Earth. Okay? And we have a distance from the uh, galaxy to Earth is given is this, kilometers. And, and, uh, so just convert it and answer is coming in years because this is how you, if you look at carefully, he's asking in years. So we got what answer? Uh, let me check in calculator. Uh, students 2.4 into 10 to power 19 and divided by 9.461 and 10 to power 12. Just wait students. Yeah, it is coming with us two five. Uh-huh, 2, 5, uh, 2, 5, uh, 3, 6, 7, 2, 9, 0. 0.7, 0. 3. And, you know, now what is the situation here? Uh, so, this is a, the decimal is here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 jumps. So, 2.5367 in 10 to power 6. But we have to round this 3SF, not mentioned here, 3SF. And how to convert it, 3SF? I need, I need, I need, I don't want. So 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54,
in 10 to power 6 million years we have answers okay uh actually uh what he was asking here uh, i just revise once again distance from uh you know it, it, because we have we know this uh to galaxy to earth is given here okay galaxy to earth the distance is given here and time taken we have to find uh how we can find because uh, the, we know that one light year we have to find it how much distance so so like it uh, for example sometime this is a light years uh this is a light year for like it's like we can say that it's just behave like a speed so that is why i kept this like a speed here okay and there's a light year and um we got a distance how much distance traveled in one light year in speed of that in the speed of that so that is the reason I think I converted. And this is not a formula for this one. This is a formula by the cross multiply. In one year, you can say that in one year, in one year, okay? In one year, right here, years, and right here, distances. In one year, we, you know, it traveled how much? 9.461, 10 to power 12, okay? In one year, it is mentioned that in one light year, travel this much. And 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 then we have to ask here two point four zero into ten to the power nineteen uh, is travel in how many years? This was a cross multiply. So I think now if we okay, you understood very well because both are distances. We have to find it not a times because it looked like time, but it's not a time. Okay, so he was saying that in one year it traveled this much distance. Okay, so this uh, this the distance it will travel in how much time? Okay, I think I got the idea. Uh, so cross multiply we can do it. No, we will not use formula of distance speed. Okay, so I think the idea is to this multiply with the one and this multiply with the x. I show you so x times to nine point four six one in ten to power twelve equal to two point four zero in ten to power nineteen, and then this will go down and divide, and that is why I divided and I got my answer. I think now you feel a better idea. So let's go for the next plan. <clears throat> uh, next question, we have a probability question. He said that um, there are two fair spinners, okay? And spinner A, five dies. We can say five-sided. One, two, three, four, five. You can say it's a five-sided, okay? And second, we, he mentioned here that it's a nine-sided. All right, okay. So nine-sided. So um, L spins two spinners. And um, and record whether they land on prime number or not. Prime number. So first of all, you must know prime number. I just give you a small example in no time. Prime number is a number which divide uh, by itself and one, uh, its number. For example, a number one and itself. Divide divide by one and itself. Example two. Divide so two ones are two and one twos are two. You cannot give me any other way. So is the all this is called a prime number. Three same story. Three ones are three and one threes are three. So you can't give me any other option. So but four is not a prime number. We why sir one fours of four and four ones of four, but we have another two into two also. Oh, oh. then. This is not a prime, it's called, this is called a composite number. Composite number. Okay. So five is again prime number. One fives are five and five ones are five. And we don't have, we don't have another way to get a five. So it means this, we can say that five is again prime number. So now I think the point is very clear. So if you check it carefully, so five is a prime number, prime number, prime number. 3 is a prime number, prime and prime. And on the top, we have a prime also. But 1 never counted as a prime number because not definition of 1 itself is only by itself. That is why we will not count. So anyway, so let's go uh, uh, the definition. He said that this is a given the probability of spinner is 3 out of 5 because and what how to find this branch? Simple technique. Whenever you have the one, one branch, have how to find the second branch? One minus the upper branch. Five is LCM. Five into one five minus three two by five. So this is coming two by five. Or you type in calculate. I hope so. You got me. Okay. 
And let's go for the next part. Uh, uh, spinner B. How to get spinner B prime numbers? How many prime numbers count? One, two, three, four, five. So five out of nine is a prime number. So five. And naturally, out of nine, five subtract, you've got a four. You can check if the four numbers are there. So four out of nine is not a prime number. Composite number, you can say even. Same story here, five by nine and 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 four over nine. But this idea is very clear. So first of all, you understood definition of prime number, and then you understood how to get a one branch if you know how to find second branch. Okay. Uh, two numbers are, both are prime numbers. So naturally prime number is the top branch, top branch. And in the process of branch, branch, we always multiply. So this value and this value multiply. So there's, I'm writing here directly three over five into five over nine. So this is five, five cancel three ones are three threes are. So ultimately become one over three. So both number, he said two numbers are both are uh, uh, not both prime number. Okay. So two numbers are not both prime number. Make sure he talk about the, the top branch he doesn't, he, he don't want. Okay. So it can be one prime number, no problem. It can be okay, both no problem, no, no problem, both not not prime number, no problem. So I think idea is clear. So why I waste my time to find uh, this branch and this branch and this branch? Why not? I have two options. Why not? I find the top branch which I have answer with me. So subtract from one. That's it. So one minus one over three, three LCM, three ones are three because this three always multiply, and I got a two like. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, because he said that uh, not both prime numbers, both prime numbers I don't need. It means this number I don't need. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, let's go for the next part. Uh, L, uh, for example, this person spins the spinner uh, this many times. Spinner A, uh, before I start, what is spinner A, the chances of prime number three by five? So probability of uh, the prime number is three over five, make sure. He's saying that expected number, whenever expected number of times comes, so we have a formula, expected. So expected values, expected number. So what is the formula? Probability multiplied by number of times. Probability multiplied by number of times. So number of times, okay. Now have a look here, what he's talking about, that spinner lands on a prime number, and prime number is three by five. So probability three out of five, but how many times is he rolling? He's spinning, he's spinning 125, 20 times. So just multiply number of times come from here. So five, uh, it is if calculate it coming what in calculator? 72 is our answer. So let's go for next. Um, now, uh, what happened now is the spin spinning now twice. B spinner twice. Make sure B spinning twice. Okay. And probability that two numbers land on uh, and add up to nine or more. Okay. This is an interesting part. So how we can get this kind of working uh, because he talked about spinner B only. So let me write the orders of spinner. There are three. Okay. Let me write three, one, two, three, then four fours. Then five, five, then two fives are there. So make sure this I will take from here. Okay. And I paste here because it's very important to plan. Okay. So these numbers we have available. Uh, what is the planning he's talk about? He talk about that the two, that this spinner B we have because this is spinner B, you know, this B scores. Okay. So the two numbers on land and add up to nine. So naturally, uh, how we can add nine to get nine? So naturally, five plus four, nine. Five plus four, nine, okay? Or second option, four plus five, nine. So we have two options and no other way to get nine. Check it, if you if you add five plus three, give you eight, okay? I think oh, you got a point clear. But he said not nine, nine or more. So five plus five is also possibility 10. So we have a three options we have total, okay? So if, for example, first dice land and four, four, second dice land and five. Second option, we have first land and five, second four. 
and then we have to talk about 5-5. Five, five. You can ask one question, sir, why not 5-2 time? But how we differentiate which 5 come before, which 5 come later? So that is why when same numbers come, we cannot write like this, okay? So what are the chances of 4? So it is a very, very clear. The chances of 4 is 4 out of 9, okay? Now what are the chances of 5? So naturally 2 out of 9, okay, 2 out of 9. Last sign because one process complete. Same story. What is the chances of five again? Two out of nine and into four out of nine. I think idea is clear. Because spinner, the, this number will not change. These numbers, nine, nine will not change. Not a ball. You bring one ball out. So total ball reduced. It's not a, you cannot erase a number from a spinner. That is why. So five, what are the chances of two out of five, two out of nine into two out of nine? And I believe you got a point. And if you check it, 2 to the 4, and 4, uh, four and 8, and 8, 16, 12, uh, 16 plus 4, 20. So 20 over 9, 9 is 81. If you type in calculator, you will get us this same answer. So I believe you got a point. We'll go, let's go for next part. Interesting next part. Uh, so L spins uh, the spinner B until it land on 4. Okay. It means we will talk. In this kind of question, students, best technique we took because land on 4. Until, until, we will keep on spinning until it will land on four. So we talk about four and not four. So how many fours are there? Four. So fours are how many? Four. And not fours are how many? Five. Total are nine. You know it very well. Okay. So now he's saying that in terms of N, the probability it happens, uh, like a, like you keep on spinning it uh, it and it landed on N spin. But I make it easy for you. First, I talk about it happened, let's say, third spin. Third spin, just sake of your understanding, okay? So let it means first dice, not four, second dice, not four, and then I got a four. If you have this kind of question comes, so how we will answer? So we will answer, so chances of four is four out of nine. Chances of this not four is five out of nine. And the first not is a five out of nine. I repeat my words. So let's say first you got a not four, Second, you got a not four, then you got a four and stop same time. So how to answer? Answer is five by nine. This is coming twice, two times. So I'm writing two here. And then I'm writing four over nine. I think you got my point. But let's say it's not happened third attempt. It happened fourth attempt, fourth attempt. So fourth attempt means, so it means I'm just adding one more, not four. For example, first not four, not four, not four, and then it happened four. So it means five by nine, I will add one more. So three times, it means it happened fourth attempt. So four from four, one less, one less. You got a three. So this three, three times it is coming, not four, not four. So this was not four three times. So I will make this power here three. So I believe you got my point. Look at it. This is my answer. Okay, let's see now it happened in not fourth. Uh, it happened in fifth attempt. Okay, fifth attempt. If I had in fifth attempt, so five minus one become four. So four will come. It means... Uh, this will come four times. So not four, not four, not four. So five by nine will come one more time. So here I will write four power. So you, what are you learning from here, students? So for example, five, if, if it happened in fifth attempt, so five minus one, four, five minus one, four, we have this, and then we have a, this one. So same story, if I talk about it happened in 10th attempt, imagine, imagine, 10th attempt, it happens. So nine time, nine time, it is not four, so five out of nine, and then four, so one, uh, four out of five, nine. So this is called 10th attempt. If you talk about 100 attempts, students, 100 attempts, so 99 times, not four, and last time is a four. I think you got my point. And if you talk about nth attempt, so because 10 minus one, nine, 100, one minus 99, Nth time, so 1 minus 1 become N minus 1. For example, 100, 1 less become 100 minus 1. 10 means 10 minus 1. N means N minus 1. So I believe you got the point very clear. And this is my answer finally. This is my final answer. So 5 by 9 to power N minus 1 into 4 over 9. I hope so. Concept is clear. Question number five is saying calculate angle ACD, but all values given. So you can see how many values given. You can see in front of this angle is given. Okay, ACD, where is ACD? 
A C D A C D. So this angle he talked about. So this angle is my ta my target number one. How to get this answer? <clears throat> How we can work out? So uh, we have to look upon the values given by him. So uh, problem is that if if I take this triangle, okay, I don't have a uh, uh, I don't have the more angles. Okay, problem is this. So I think I can work on. I, I one thing this angle I can find easily, uh, okay, and I can work out for this angle and get the uh, and um, but problem in this triangle I have this angle, okay, I can't I don't have this angle. This is another difficulty. So better is what and marks even five. So that is why we have to work a, a bit longer idea. And this is a big triangle and this is a small right. So we have a two right angle triangles, okay, students. So how to plan? How to plan if I, if I, some extent, if I find this gap, I can work on a big triangle and get it. So, the, so let's first, first of all, I think about a small triangle. So I have two right angle triangle students, one this, and letter D on the top, letter A here, uh, 83.2, and here I'm writing 38, and B letter. So using this data, can I find BA? Yes, of course, my plan is BA. And you know, in front of angle, this is what this length is called opposite. And what I'm looking for in front of 90, this is called hypotenuse. And what left is called adjacent. So my target is to get adjacent. And you remember, so, ka, to, a. So we are opposite adjacent, opposite adjacent involved here, to, a. T stands for 10. So let's apply tan theta. So tan theta is equals to opposite by adjacent. And theta is 38. And opposite is 83.2. Adjacent is AB or BA. No problem. I'm writing AB. So AB will multiply first there. Chance of mistake here. Some student do while shifting, they do mistakes. So be careful. So now this 1038 will divide. When it divides there, student, it will become 83.2 divided by 1038. And this, if you type in calculator, it is giving us AB gap is giving us what? Hold on, let me write it down. So AB gap. So AB gap is coming with me, with me here. <clears throat> Hold on, let me see. And typing in calculator. So AB gap is coming with me 106.49 meters. Okay, so this is clear. This is a very clear approach. We have done it. So this triangle number one helped uh, help us to get this answer. So let's shift it up. This is clear point. Now, same story students, I'm going to use for the big triangle now. So look at now. So this gap, I got it now. I'm writing here 106.49, 106.49. So if I have this gap, students, so it means full gap, I have it, okay? I'm going to do make a big triangle now. I'm going to make a big triangle, okay? So have a look now. And if I add this gap and this gap, it is turned to be 100 and, uh, 160. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. 160.99. And this letter is C. This letter is A. And this letter is D. And this distance we have already 83.2. And this angle is my task. I think game is over. You see, now this way we approached. And now in front of angle, what this length is called again is opposite. Okay, opposite. And this is adjacent. So again, we use a TOA formula because opposite adjacent use. So I'm writing here tan theta is equals to 83.2 over 160.99. So tan will go there and becomes tan inverse. So this is a angle C I, I count as a so tan inverse of 83.2 or 160.99. So I got 27.3. So 27.3 is my final answer. So let's go for next part. He's saying here uh, EFG, okay, triangle is right angle triangle, C 90 degree. This box represents 90 degree, okay? A circle can be drawn, a circle can be drawn, passes through three vertices, okay? So, you know, student, what you talk about? You talk about this kind of circle, actually, it's not easy to make for me. 
but some extent I have done it. So he's trying. Let me try to show you. Uh, maybe okay, some extent okay. So see, this, this must pass from here. This must pass. So all three points uh, lie on the on the circle. Okay, and he said that um, uh, mark the position of the center of circle. But you know we have a special property. If you remember, whenever sir, we have circle and we have a diameter, students diameter. So this is center of circle. C for center of circle. And whenever we have a, a triangle comes, for example, joining this, joining this, and this is a always 90 degree. Okay. It means the center of this diameter. This it, it means whenever 90 degree. So this line always diameter. So I can say 100%. 100% please, this length will behave as a diameter. He did not mention the question, but we have to assume and uh, we have to uh, understood confirm here. On diagram, mark the position of center of circle. Draw, explain how you decided. Okay, how we decided. So we can give a reason for it. And reason is what? Angle in a semicircle. Angle in a semicircle is right angle, is a right angle, or you just write the 90 degree also acceptable. So then it is a midpoint of that. So where's the midpoint? So no, you take a scale and measure it and just mark it. And no need uh, for so much accuracy because you just said that, um, mark the sign there. Okay, did he mention in letter? Mm, no, no. Okay, so I think the point is very clear. And let's go for the next question. In next question, what story we have? So let's try to work on that. And what a question we have mentioned here, ratios. So first of all, you mentioned that uh, the triangle, there are two triangles are there, L, M, N. L, M, N triangles here. Okay. And L ratio is four angle. M is five, M is six. So let me write the angles. Uh, first letter L, L is here. So this angle ratio four. And... Um, uh, then M letter, this is a 5 and this is a 6. I think the idea is clear. So these are ratio I wrote actually. Don't worry about these, not angles actually. Okay, these are ratios. And he asking what here, and we have given here all three sides in lengths, okay. Difference between the largest angle in triangle PQR in this largest angle and the largest angle in triangle element. So both triangle largest angle we find and subtract them. So let's see. So with, you know, this, for example, smaller side, this angle is smaller. Medium size, this angle is medium, but largest angle side is called, so this angle we are looking for. And here it is mentioned that largest number is six, which in front of N is the N ratio. So angle N is the largest. So it means angle R is largest here. And angle N is largest here. And we'll find both and subtract them. So first criteria, I think you understood what is the method to observe because he said that both largest angles subtract. And I believe this part is clear. Now, how to get these angles now is interesting. Some of the, uh, some of the, you know, the rule is basically some of the angles is what coming, some of the ratios, first of all. So sum of ratios is coming three here. Uh, if I add four plus five, if I add 4, I'm writing directly 4 plus 5, 6, 10, 10, 15. So 15 is the sum of ratios. Okay. So sum of ratios is 15. All right. And you know, some of the angles is what? Some of the angles in a triangle, some of the angles in triangle is that is 180. I can do by ratio technique. Here I'm writing here degrees, degrees, okay, degree angles. I'm writing here ratios. So degree is 180 and is 15. Total angle, total ratio in front of each other. And six ratio I'm looking for. So six and here question mark L for largest angle. Okay. Or I'm writing here N even. N, I can write even N, N angle. So uh, uh, 15 times to N, 15 times to N is equal to six times to 180. And this 15 will divide and you know it very well what I'm doing. Simple ratio technique and if i divide it i get what 72 degree so angle n is becoming 72 degree because this part is done and now i'm going for this largest angle you know student we have our two formulas one formula 
cosine rule. If I look at here, this is r, this is a small r. This is a q, this is called small q. This is a p, this is called small p. And because this angle is concerned, I can start from r square. So r square is equals to p square plus q square is always negative two comes, you know, and these p and q comes here. P and Q into cos of opposite angle of R is capital R. So this we can use either this angle or if 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 I bring this whole value left side and R right hand side, it will turn to be this form. P to power two plus Q to power two minus R square. And this two P Q divide, so I will get a cos R subject. So some teachers or even me, I uh, always in a request student to memorize this formula for, for angle finding. This is formula for side finding and this ang formula for angle finding. And in print, what is the technique? If capital R is a question mark, so this small r will come with negative sign and the other two sides will come with a plus sign. I think the point is very, very clear. Okay, now students, <clears throat> So I'm going to plug in the numbers and that's it. And plug in the numbers small. This is a P, Q, R given here, P, Q, and R. So I'm writing here five to power two plus four to power two and minus six to power two because R value is six. And divided by what? Two times to five into four. And if I type this in calculator, cause will go there and become inverse. So R is equals to cause inverse. And if this type in calculator, this is a coming with me. Um, yeah, it is coming five, 108, 108. And cause inverse 108 will give us angle R 82.82 degree. And if I subtract, what is the difference he's asking about? So difference is coming so simple difference. So subtract. Out of this, I subtract this value, I will get a 10.82 or a degree, no problem at all. I believe the point is very, very clear. Okay, so student, let's go for the next page. Next page is a question number six. We have a sequence question, okay? And a sequence question, if we look at carefully, what is method to start a question, okay? Uh, the method to start a question is, first of all, you check it. Is there a common difference? For example, so um, like, a, if I add four, if I add four, if I add four, I get this value. If I add four, I get this value. If I add four, I get this value. So I think this part is very, very clear. I can talk about sequence A. So what is the first term is this sequence negative seven. So A is equals to negative seven. And common difference, how to find? negative three, negative, uh, subtract that one, or one minus this, or five minus one. I feel five minus one is easy for me. Although you can get a same answer in both options. Okay, formula is what student t n equal to a plus n minus one times two d. So a come from here and d come from here, and answer is there. So alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, and there's a four, if I expand the bracket, four multiply in the bracket, four times two n, and four ones are four. So four n and negative 11. This is my nth term for the first part. So I can write here four n minus 11. And I believe this part is very clear and let's go for the next. And he asked in the fifth term. So re simple replace or add four here. I get nine. Or if you want to see second technique, second technique is what? If you plug in this five in the place of here, so five into four, 20 out of 20, 11 gone, nine comes. So both are correct. Okay. Now let's see the other other question. Other question what we have. Uh, this is a very clear seven. Uh, if, it's, if you see carefully, uh, seven plus six, 13. Okay. And then it is in adding 10. We got this one and adding, I think so, 14. Okay. So it is not working with the AP, okay? It is not working because these gaps are not same. Okay, gaps are not same. Then we have another technique. And what is other technique, students? So, but next layer gap is same. Here plus four and here plus four. If the first layer gaps are not same, the second layer gaps are same. 
So we have to apply a special technique and that I'm going to use now. So get ready now. So I'm going to show you full process, okay? So 7, 13, 23, 27, 37, sorry. Okay, this gap is plus four, plus four. There's a plus, sorry, not plus, plus four. There's a actually, actually is a six adding, six adding. Next is 10 adding. Next is 14 adding. Okay, second layer is, is same, four adding, four. So when your first, second layer also is coming same, then we have a special technique. And what is that technique? This is called A first term. This is called D1. How to pronounce D1? This is called D2, second difference, layer difference. And formula for this kind of question, we have what? I'm going to discuss that. So actually same formula, I'm copy paste. Look, I show you, maybe you're understanding inshallah this way. So if I, if I copy and I paste here, all right, and I just change one thing here, D1 and plus D2 divided by two in the bracket N minus two into N minus one into N minus two, that's it. Now you plug in the numbers, A is seven. So this is algebra only N keep as N and D1 is six and D2 is four. Okay, and here n into n, I multiply, I got n square, n into 2, I got negative 2n, 1 into n, I got minus, minus n, and here I got a plus 2. So I'm going to finalize 6 times to both values, 6n minus 6. Here 2 for cancel, I got 2 in the bracket and square. These two values will give us negative 3n. And 7, 7 and 6, if I subtract, I get a plus one. Now two multiply inside with every value, two and two power two, six n and plus four. So I got this this six and six and cancel out two and square and four plus one give you five. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. I hope so. The point is very clear. There's a lengthy working, but anyway, is a confirmed no chance of mistake. Okay, more no chance of uh, error here in this condition. Okay, so I'm writing here two and square and plus five. Uh, we can do another technique as a little complicated due to this two. If this two is not there, we can do it easily, but and I hope so, okay. Now, how to get this fifth term? How to get this fifth term? Put five in the place here and two times two, five square. Look, look at here, five square, 25. And 25 into two, you got a 50 and plus five, 55. So I believe this is nothing hard to get it. Now, other sequence, last sequence, this is a sequence B, I have done it. And the sequence A, I have done already. Now, how to deal with this kind of sequence, okay? Upper number, look at here, student, I, now I'm telling a short technique even. So, this is one, in one add, you've got two. This is a two, if you one add, you've got a three. If a three, then a one add, you've got a four. I think, okay. If it's four, if you one add, you've got a five. This is a five, one add, you've got a six. If the n is a one add, you got n plus one. I believe you understood how I got the numerator. Now let's talk about denominator. For that reason, I will have to work out. So this 27, I think I can, 27, what is the, what is the denominators I take separate? So first, first term number, I, I will take as a, 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 a is what? So I'll make a division here. So A is equal to 27 and common ratio. How do you get common ratio? 81 divided by 27. If you divide 81 divided by 27, you can see um, 3, 7, 21, R, R, R is coming 3. R is coming 3. Even 243 divided by 81, you got a 3 same. And formula GP, because it's not by adding, by multiplying. So A, R to power N minus 1. A is 27 and R is 3 and power N minus 1. 27, I can write 3 to power 3 also. And you know, same basis. If same basis multiply, power add. If power add, so three and this minus one subtract, I got N or I show full working three plus N minus one. And finally I got two plus N. So this will go in denominator. So three to power two plus N. And how to get this one? So put five, put this five here, five plus two, seven. And if you, if you, if you check it here, uh, it is uh, if you type in, uh, hold on students, I just check it. Or 729 into 3. I can multiply. So 2187. 
or I plug in even that. So three to power so seven. So it's coming same answer. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, this is okay. Now what is the next question is asking for? Uh, next question is asking for in the sequence sum of the first uh, 49 terms is this. Okay. And some of the 50 terms, first 50 terms, the first 49, first 50 is a very, very important statement. Okay. But I will tell a formula and that formula will help you to understand. Otherwise, this question is hard to do it. For example, 2 plus 4, I got 6. Plus 4, I got 10. I think enough. So these are these are the term number 1. This is a term number 1. This is called term number 2. This is called term number 3. Okay. Can I say I have a formula. The formula is what? Uh, term number three, if I want to find directly, sum of the three terms, one is sum of the two terms. This number always same, and this number always one less. You want to see? So third, three terms sum is what? If you add all three, you've got a uh, 10 is 16 plus 2, 18. So this is 18. And sum of two terms, 6 plus 2, 8. If we look, if subtract them, you got what? You get a directly 10. So alhamdulillah, which is matching with the third term. So you learn something here that when I be looking this first, so let's try, try another technique. If, if looking for T2, second term direct, although I know second term is six, but if you want to prove it, so what is the formula? S2 minus S1. This number always same and this number always one less. So S2 is what? Sum of two numbers is H. Sum of one number is two only. If I subtract eight minus two, we got a six. So it's matching. You see, second term is matching. So if you're looking for, for example, if I'm looking for, uh, 100 term, what is the technique? So sum of the 100 term minus sum of the 99 terms, I believe you've got a formula. So that is why we're looking for the 50th term. So 50th term value answers what sum of the 50 term minus sum of the 49 term. Because it's same and there's one less always. And sum of 50 term is what? Sum of 50 terms, look, I'm reading here. Sum of first 50 term is this. So I'm replacing 7975. And I believe you got my point. Seven five seven. Okay, and sum of forty nine. The read a statement. Sum of first forty nine term is this one. Make sure first word must be there. Okay, and I think if you subtract, so seven seven nine seven five minus seven six double four. So I got three hundred and thirty one. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin. I believe the point is very clear, and we have done it this part even. So three hundred and thirty one. So let's go for next question. <clears throat> Next question is what is saying the frequency table shows the time of each, okay, time of the each of the 42 students at least given here. So uh, 42 is, if you add them all, you've got a 42 students, very clear. We have to find out the mean. So this kind of question we can do directly or I have, I, I, my habit, I always make a two, ta uh, two uh, tables, two columns, okay. So first column name is called mid-class, mid-class, mid-interval, mid-class represented by X. And X come from where? If you add these two numbers, I show once and next I will not show. So I show on top, 216 plus 219 divided by 2. So if you add them and you will get what? 216 plus 219 and divide by 2. I got simple 217.5. 117.5. I believe you got my point, what I'm saying. Same story, add them, divide by 2. Same story, okay? Add them, divide by 2. So 219 plus 224 and divide by 2. So this is coming 221.5. Okay, same story. Let's go for next one. Uh, so next third one, 224 plus 234 and divide by 2. And I get... 229. How do you get this? So add them and divide by 2. So I get 234 plus 244. And divide by 2, I get 239. And last one, 244 plus 264. If you divide, you get a, you get a, wait a minute, 244 plus 264. And we got 254. So I believe this part is very clear. And let's pro proceed for the next part. So this is called FX. What is the column name? FX. Actually, this is called number of athletes. It's called frequency. This is F. So F and X multiply. So it means short story. This will multiply with the nine. 
So 217, 217.5 multiplied with 9. So it will give me what? 1957.5. So why I'm doing so? So you can, if you are, if you're comparing my, your working with my working, at least you understand where your mistake. If it's, if it's not matching, if it is not matching. So 3130. 311, so sorry, 31, 3101. Okay. Now, next number 229 times 214. And my value is coming 3206. Let me recheck the previous one into 14. Yeah, correct. 3101. Next, 239 into 2. So it is coming 478. And last value 254 into 3. 250, 254 into 3. So 762. Okay. So I hope so, students. This is a very clear approach. Uh, you have to be careful while attempting, okay, while multiplying, uh, because small error can give you wrong value. So once again, two, two, one. Yeah, I think all clear. Yes, clear. And now let's find the total. So if you know what is the formula we have, students, so, so mean formula is what? Sigma fx over sigma x. Sigma uh, sigma stand for sum. This is how to pronounce sum. So it means sum the column of f. Uh, sorry, this below is f, not x. Sorry. This means f. So this f them I add them all, which is a uh, forty-two. I will not waste my time. I'm writing directly here forty-two down because sigma f is forty-two. Add them all is forty-two. Okay, but the numerator I will add. Numerator I will add. So sigma fx means this column title uh, values add. So I will add them all. I will add them all. Okay. Or I can save my time. Why I waste my time? Because I will not show again. So I write here 42 and upper these values I copy and paste here. Because I have done all, one job already. 1957.5 plus 3101 plus 3206 and plus 478 and 762. This is coming with me 9504.5. So this way, I believe you will find out your mistake because I have done step by step. 226.2976. I need, I need, I need, I don't want. Which you don't want bigger than four? No, you will not add. So answer is coming finally 226. Okay. So seconds. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Points clear. Complete the histogram, histogram formula. We have a special formula of histogram. And first formula we have students. So I am writing it left hand side here. So I'm writing here and frequency density formula is frequency divided by class width. So I'm finding it here one by one. Okay. And inshallah, I believe you will find easy. Okay. And what is method to find students? So every time frequency. Frequency is what here? Nine. And what is the class width? The gap. Make sure. This mid class we add and divide by two, where the class width is only subtracting the higher value. One is so 219, one is 216. That's it. Will give us three. So this is class this class width. So nine divided by three. I repeat again this nine and divided by 219 minus 216. I got three. I think you got point point how I got three. Okay, students. So I think this part is very, very clear. <laughs> And just a wait minute, please. One minute, please. Let me recheck. Yeah, yeah, this is okay. Uh, clear. Now let's go for next one. Next one is what students, if you talk about the next part, uh, this is a, uh, what is the frequency? 14. I'm doing direct now. 14. And divided by what? The gap of this. If the gap of this is coming, it is coming 5. 5. Okay. 2 to 4. 2 to 4 minus 219. Is five so fourteen divided by nine it's giving us one point five say five five or one point five six also acceptable even one point six acceptable I think you got my point okay <clears throat> so let us discuss uh, students this is okay so wait a minute let me recheck once again uh, fourteen wait a minute fourteen divided by five it is coming two point eight sorry this is a two point eight two point eight Typing error, 2.8. Okay, so let's do it. Let's go for the next part. And next number is what? Next point. If we talk about next point, 
14 keep it up and gap keep it down okay so 14 up and what is the gap 234 and 30 so 10 gap so 1.4 and again same story frequency keep it up frequency keep it up okay i'm keeping two up and gap is what again 10 again 10 gap because so this becomes 0 0.2 so frequency loss is three and divide by gap. So this is, I think, this is a 20 gap, 20, yes, 20 gap. So I got a 0 0.15, okay? I think this point is very, very clear. Yes, so let's try to make it now, okay? And how to make it, uh, this very, uh, very clear plan. So starting first column, look at here, starting from 216, till 19 and three height. 16 till 19. Where 16, 19? This is already drew by him. This, this first column is drew by him already. No need to make it. See, the height is 3. So we have, he drew already the first column. Okay. First column already drawn. Second column, what? Starting from 19, ending 24. So but first of all, problem is there one. We don't know where is the value. So we have to work out for this. What is this gap? So this 20 minus 10 is 10. So 10 what is the formula we have? Value by number of boxes. Values by number of boxes. Number of boxes. Luckily, values are 10 and boxes also 10. So 10 by 10, we got a 1. So long, I want x, x axis 1 with one box representing 1. Okay, what is my next column starting 19, ending 24? Where is 19? 24. 19 is this number and 24 is where? Uh, 21, 22, 23, 24. So 24 is here, student. This is the 24. Okay. And height, how much I have to draw? Have to draw 2.8. 2.8. Now 2.8 is where? 2.8. 2.8 is here. You can see this one. Yeah. And I believe you understanding what I am doing. This is okay. And this I, I will shade the slightly different way, but it's okay. You can slide the shade anyway. All right. This part is very clear. And let's go for the next third column. Starting from 24, ending 34. So first decide where is the 34. 24 is this and 34 is naturally this number. Let me label it small. Uh, this is a 34. Okay, what is now height? So height for this is a 1.4. So 1.4. So 1 is here, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. 1 so 1.4 is here coming. And I believe you understanding what is going on. So this is uh, another way I'm going to shade it. And I think clear idea. Let's go for next one. So uh, starting 234, ending 44. Again, 10 gap. So 34 to 30, 44. 34 to 44. Where is 44? It is here already, this number. Okay. And what is the height? Height is given by him is 0 0.2. 0 0.2. And 0 0.2 height is, is very, very clear. Two boxes. So point two, and I believe this is a nothing hard. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So I think all points clear. Yes, the last column drew by him. So no need. Let's go for next. Uh, this question is uh, Arian Volumes, mensuration topic. He given us hemisphere, then cylinder, then again hemisphere. Three diagrams. Okay. All right. A big, big hemisphere is a, is a radius 5.4, smaller 3.6, and height is 6.5 of cylinder. So volume of the whole object, I have to prove this connection. So let's step by step. So top hemisphere, if we talk about that, this is well. Then we have a cylinder volume. Then we have a big hemisphere. So three things we have to uh, uh, make it, okay? So let's see how we can find it. And volume of the full sphere is 4 by 3 pi L cube mentioned here. You can see the full, the big part, whole, whole. We talk about the whole, this whole is given, but if we need a half, so make it half. And how to make it half? Four by three, five cube is given by him already into one over two. Okay, this cancel, we got a two. So two by three, pi r cube is a hemisphere. So let's start. So two by three, pi r. And what is the radius of the bigger one? It's 3.6. So radius, 3.6. Height of the cylinder, 6.5. This radius, 5.4. I write all values. So 2 by 3 pi r cube, 3.6 power 3. And what is cylinder formula? Cylinder formula, volume, you must know it. If you don't know, it's called cross area into height. Cross area 
This is the cross area into height. And what is cross area shape? Circle shape. And circle area formula, all of you know pi r squared. And height is there. Okay? So pi r squared into h. And now I'm plugging the numbers pi r squared. R is 3.6. H is 6.5. I think clear. And hemisphere again, same formula used for hemisphere once again. And 2 by 3 pi r cube, but r this time 5, 4.5. I think clear idea. So I think this is okay. And uh, yeah, if I type in calculator, so volume of the whole object, it is coming 692 because he, he said that correct too, okay? And uh, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil even you test, okay, in calculator, you will get the same answer. So I think this part is very clear and let's go for the next plan. <clears throat> next plan is, is talk about similarity. Similar, when the word similarity comes, we have a four formulas which are very effective. I will write all four for you. Uh, per three, I write especially for you, okay? And uh, what is that? Length of small by length of large, Ratio of small by ratio of the large. Okay, area of small by area of the large. And ratio of small by ratio of the large. Volume of small, volume of the large. Ratio of small by ratio of the large. But in case of area, we'll put power two here. In case of volume, we'll put power three here. In the case of length, we'll not put here. Here, not ratio, it can be length also. It can be height also. It can be width as well. No problem. So these three formulas are effective. But now he talk about the grams. Grams are dealing as a volume. Okay, make sure volume. And this, this centimeter will deal as a length. So it means I will use volume. I will use a lower formula. Make sure. Okay. I think idea is very clear. Okay. So now, students, what is the formula? I will use this one. But first of all, plug in the value of okay. So what is asking about total mass of the silver solid? Actually, let me read a mathematical similar solid is made of silver. And uh, and a solid uh, is, a, is a, this radius is 0. 0.6 and silver, uh, okay, we given a, even a separate thing also given here. One centimeter cube is equal to 10.49 uh, grams. Okay, silver, okay, we need. So total mass we need to find. So best technique is what the um, cylinder the radius, cylinder radius, is 0.6. So cylinder radius, actually we have 3.6. We have 3.6. It means that other one is a big big object and what we have a, that we have a smaller object. You see this kind of slender. Okay. So there's a big object, a small object. And smaller object is the radius is given 0.6. So it means this is a 0.6. This radius is a 0.6. So I think we can work on it now. A uh, volume of, because I'm looking for what? I'm looking for the I'm looking for the uh, smaller one. Okay, make sure smaller one. The so volume of small by volume of large and uh, 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 what is called um, radius of small by radius of the large. Okay, and put here cube. I think you got my point. Volume of small is unknown. Volume of large we have. Where is volume of large object? 692. 692. And radius of small is what? 0.6. Radius of large, we have it now 3.6. So I'm writing here 3.6 and put power 3 here. And this number will simply multiply up. So it will turn to be what? 692 times to what? 0 0.6 over 3.6 and power 3. And if you type this in calculator, the volume of a small object is coming to 3.2037 centimeter cube. Okay, done. This is done. But still, we have something to uh, finish further. What is that? He's saying that uh, that uh, one centimeter cube, one centimeter cube is given. So grams. So two titles: centimeter cube and grams. One centimeter cube is ten point four nine grams. Okay, students. What I will do? Uh, one centimeter. I'm writing here one and ten point four nine. I'm writing here ten point four nine. And this many centimeter cube, I copy under it. So third, three point two zero three seven. And here G for gram or just X unknown, cross multiply. So X times to one give you X and this multiply with that. So it means simply 3.2037 into 10.49. If I multiply, so mass, so total mass, what we're getting from here is what? So it's coming, if you multiply it, so 33.6 grams. 
So I believe the idea is very, very clear. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. And let's go for next part. Next part, the question here, he took the arc length. So uh, arc length of this sector. Arc length is this arc length, okay? So angle is given. And what is the formula for the arc length? The arc length formula is theta by 360 degree into 2 pi r. Make sure area formula, if you look about area, so then pi r squared. Theta by 360, pi r squared for area. Okay, and arc length is what? Theta by 360 into 2 pi r, I believe, okay. So I'm going to plug in the numbers. Theta is 216. And radius is given by him is 10. So just typing, but make sure when you type in calculator, he said that give answer in pi format, okay? So you will not type pi in calculator. Even you type in pi calculator, it will give you uh, maybe a decimal. So that is why avoid it. So if you type it, uh, you can type 260 by 360, 2 also and 10 square, but don't type pi. So I, I hope so you got my point. And answer is coming 120 pi. So I think you've got a point clear, 125. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Once again, I check uh, 360 into 2, yeah, 2 pi r, not r square, sorry. Uh, so 2 pi r, so it means 101, 112, okay, 12 pi. Because I mix some student mix up like the way I mixed, okay. So two pi r, make sure not two pi r square. Pi r square is area and two pi r for the okay. Because circle, you know, circle, a circle area is pi r square and circum circumference is the two pi r. So here we take two pi r area. I think there's a very clear difference. Let's move on next. He said that uh, cone is made from the sector. It's very interesting. Uh, if I show you, for example, this, uh, this I make it uh, easy way to understand. There's a sector. There's a cone. You know, student, if you join this A letter with a B letter and become together, A, B, okay? If you join this and wrap and this straight edge and join with this straight edge, okay? Then you will get this circumference, this, this arc length, this arc length, this arc length will become circumference of circle. Make sure this is a very clear op opinion, okay? I repeat again. So there are three properties that are important. This is called radius of the bigger one. This is called slant height, L. And they are equal to each other. So R and L equal to each other. Number one criteria. Second criteria, this arc length, this arc length. And this is a circumference of circle. Circumference, circumference of circle. They are equal to each other. Okay. So arc length and they are equal to each other. And third property. The area of this and area of this are equal to each other. Both areas are equal to each other. So three properties you must know. Okay, our curved area of the of cone and the arc and area sector of this will be equal. So current situation, what we need to do, we need to find out the volume of cone. And that is only possible Then we have a, we need a, uh, what is formula? One by, because we need two things, okay, cone. And we talk about a cone, we, uh, I, I just make a, a triangle here, look at here. This triangle, I'm going to make it. Here. So I need two things, students. What I need. First of all, I need a radius. In a triangle, I need a radius. This is a radius. This is a height. This is a slant height. So I need radius. And how to find radius? Because uh, you know that this, this arc length, this arc length, and this circumference are equal to each other. Why not put them equal to each other? So arc length is equal to circumference of base circle. Circumference. So, so one arc length, I got one uh, 12 pi. I took from there. And circumference formulas, you know, circle circumference 2 pi r. Even I wrote here, 2 pi r. So 2 pi r. So 2 pi r. And this 12, this 2 will go down. Pi will go down and become 6. So I got a 6. Now what is left behind? And I, I taught you slant height and this big radius of the sector. Equal radius of sector and this are equal to each other. The short story what is the radius of sector 10? So for your knowledge, so slant height also 10. And here I got a 6. So I, I can find height by using a Pythagoras theorem. What is the Pythagoras theorem? Hypotenuse square equal to opposite square plus adjacent square. In front of 90, the L is always called slant height. Make sure some student by in hurry, they put 10 sometime here. No, be careful. So 10 to power 2 equal to h to power 2 and plus 6 to power 2. 106 will go on the other side, 36, and I got a 64 and become 8. So I think the idea is very clear. Because out of 64, this is 8, 
So this out of 136, we've got a 64 and eight comes, eight centimeters. Okay, eight centimeters. Okay, now I got it. Now I think so we can work for the volume. And what is the volume formula? Volume formula you can mention here. So one more three pi r square into h. Pi r square into h. And radius is what six and height is what eight. And if you type in calculator, students, I'm getting three zero one point six three two or rounding. I need, I need, I need, I don't want, which you don't want bigger than four, so add one. So three zero two centimeter cube, sorry, because volume. I think this idea is clear. So let's go for next question. Next question is a function. And next question is function. What is talking about in this question? So we can look at here. We have a we have given here, we have given here um three functions. Okay. So have a look here how we can continue. <clears throat> So f, g, and h, okay? And we talk about f of equal to zero. So first of all, make your habit of copy function. In this way, chance of mistake reduces. I will copy full function as it is. Although it's one mark, but if you write this way, the chance of mistake reduce. Every x replace zero. Empty space, I put zero. And zero into three, I got a zero. And zero plus five and zero minus four. So I get from here one and from here five a n minus four. Ultimately, I get negative 20. Okay, let's go for next one, g inverse. So this function g inverse. So first of all, I will copy function. Function copy or replace the g of x by y. I have to make a, a currently what is subject student, y subject, but I have to make x subject. So this three is subtracting, we'll go and add there. Job number one. So y plus three. Two is multiplying with x and will divide down. It will become this form. Now, student, uh, I will switch. And while switching, this x become left side and this become right side. You know, switching criteria, no sign will change. When you bring everything left to right, right to left, no sign will change. And some students confuse in switching. So now interchange. I N T shortcut interchange. X become Y. This X become Y. And this Y become X. Rest, no change. And finally, this is called G inverse. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. And I believe you got a point. Uh, let's go for the next part. Next part is what here? So he's talking about next part. So uh, uh, G H of 2. Actually, we're step by step. We'll try how do step by step? So uh, look at here. First of all, put two in H and whole put in G. This is a step by step. Okay. So let's try to do it. So first of all, I'll copy H function. H function is this. I'll copy. You know, my I always copy first. The chance of mistake is reduced in this way. How many X is left side and right is empty space. Empty space is every X value. I'll put two here. I put two here. I believe you got my point. 2 to the 4 out of 4, 1, 1, 3. And 4.3, if you type in calculator, is giving you 64. So I think this is part is clear. Okay. Uh, yeah. After this, what is the next step? So this is a half job is done. This job is done. Now I have to put it whole thing in G. So first of all, I will copy G. So G function is very clear. We have it clearly 2x minus 3. Left hand side keep keep empty space. Right hand side keep empty space. So what I will do this function name I'll copy here and value will copy there. That's it. So I'm writing here h of two. I'm writing here sixty four. Okay, and it is a very clear approach if you if you put it there. Okay, and uh, so two times two sixty four minus three is coming one hundred twenty five. I think this is very, very clear. Now let's talk about next part. Next part is what here? Uh, he talk about uh, this one. So first of all, as usual, what I will do, copy function g of x. And that is a 2x minus 3. Done. After copying function, what is the next plan? What is in the bracket? I will leave empty spaces both sides. How many x's? Look, x here, x here, empty space. Look, I show in blue color. Here, blue color, and here, blue writing. So 2x here, 2x here. But do you know g of 2x of x equal to how much? 7. So here's 7. 
and two to the four x. I got a four x and minus three. After this, what to do? This is a three. Will go there and add. I got a. I got a. I got a ten. Now four is multiplying. Will divide, and you know it very well. Ten divided by four. And you got a 2.5. Okay, you write this way and all, then you switch the sides, 2.5 or 5 by 2, no issue at all. So I think this part is very clear. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go for next part C. Now again, now what is story here? They do different stories we have. First of all, make sure this, this is something else and this is something else. Okay. Here, uh, if you talk about G, G of X, okay, it's putting... This is a same like a function putting G in G. But here, simple thing. Look, one by one step it. First of all, I'm writing step by step. G of X is what? It is a 2X minus 3. 2X minus 3. I'm copying 2X minus 3. Even I'm copying here also. Okay, but now what to do? How many X is left side and X right and right side? I will leave empty spaces. Same story here, empty here and empty here. And what I will do here is clear sense x square. So this x square I copy here and here. x square comes here, x square comes here. So but the other, other question, what is that? Put g function in g. Some students think they're multiplying, not multiplying. This is called multiplying. g of x, g of x. This is called multiplying, okay? But when this... A one x is not there, g g of x, it means one function put another function. And I believe you got my point. So here I'm writing g of x. I mean function name left hand side, function value right hand side. Function value right hand side. So this is g of uh, x square. I got ultimately 2x to power 2 minus 3. And here I got g g of x. So 2 to the 4x and 2 to the 6. So minus six and minus three, it becomes four X minus nine. Now I'm going to make a line here and this value I will plug in here. And this value will plug in here and get the answer. So it means G of X, this one, G, G of X and plus one. This value is this one. So I'm popping it here. This value come from here. I'm popping from here. And plus one will come as it is. And I believe the point is very clear. So if I continue, what answer is finally coming? So 2x squared alone, so I'm copying. And 4x is also alone, I'm copying. But minus 3, minus, because minus 12, out of minus 12, 1 gone, I got minus 11. And I, I believe you got a point clear. So alhamdulillah, rabbil alamin. Okay, so this is okay. Let's go for next part, h inverse of x. Before I start, uh, this is a, a technique we have to do. What is h of x? So let me copy first h of x. 4 to power 2x minus 1. So this equation, uh, we cut from here and we paste here. Okay. And make sure we have some rule here. What is rule? I want to tell you one thing. Whenever uh, there's nothing equal, I can put it equal to x. I can put equal to x or any variable, no problem. And when h inverse will go on this side, inverse will eliminate automatically and h will come in a bracket. It's a very important thing. Okay, I repeat again. I give one more example to understand here. For example, p inverse of 2 equal to x. When p inverse will go on this side, inverse will finish and x will come in a bracket of p. Bracket of p. I think this idea clear. So that is why I, I brought H inverse on this side. I can write this way also. And 16, I copy as it is, or wait a minute. H of X is this. 4 to power 2X minus 1. Some teacher teach me the logarithm technique, not wrong even. But because logarithm students don't have no idea at low levels, that is why I'm not teaching here. For 16, 4 to power 2. And same basis, 4 for matching, right? Some statement here, same basis. Same basis. So 4, 4 cancel out from both sides and I got 2 equal to 2x minus 1. This one will go there and add. I, I got this kind of thing. And finally, I got what answer? So it will becoming 3 and 3 by 2 is our answer. So 3 equal to 2x and x becomes 3 by 2. Or I can write 1.5. Both are okay. Okay. I think idea is clear. 
but if you want to know the logarithm technique i think it will uh, it will confuse some to extend some student but no problem i think leave it and let's go for the next plan okay we can work on it but the same answer will come ultimately let's work on next one the, that technique will confuse you so i shall leave this working for you you can understand okay one more example if f and m inverse of 5 equal to let's say nothing so i can write here uh, x so m inverse will go this way this way so 5 equal to m of x you can replace m of x value and solve further i think very easy technique so let's talk about this question. This can be written in this form. So multiplying process, so simple. You know, basically we have a, this technique, two into three into four students ask me here one question. So multiply them first or them first or them first. You can multiply anything, no effect. For example, six come here and six into four, 24. Or three, four is a 12, 12 into two, 24. So no issue at all. You can choose any order, any order. So I'm keeping what? I'm keeping 3x plus 1 inside a bracket and multiplying these two. x times 2x, I got x square. x times to negative 4, I got negative 4x. 5 times 2x, I got a 5x. 5 times 4, I get 20. Negative 20. So be careful. These two cells, oh, okay, opposite sign. This is a becoming x only and negative 20. Okay, and now I can work out for it. So this 3x multiply with every number. 3x into this, I get 3x to power 3. 3x into this, I get 3x to power 2. 3x into this, I get negative 60x. And 1 multiply each number remains same. x square plus x minus 20. I think clear idea. Now I'm writing order 3x cube and x square x square become 4x to power 2. And 60 and this plus 1 gone. So 1 negative 60 and plus 1. So minus 59x. I think clear. And negative 20 will remain at the end. It's same. And I think so. The concept is clear. Nothing hard to, uh, to proceed. Let me check finally. Yes, 59 and minus 20. Yes, okay. So let's go for And what are you asking? A, B, C number. So if you compare x cube coefficient A and here 3. So here's a 3. B, x square is B here, 4, so we have 4. And x coefficient C is, is minus 59. And here, and please don't miss negative sign. Some student in a hurry, they miss a negative sign. So let's go for question number 10. 10 um, a, B, C is a trying angle. B is a point given here. A is this point. A, C is given here. Find coordinate. And I, I tell you one thing. So we have a C, A. We, you know, C, A we can uh, expand it. For example, if I have an AB, we can write the vector ending at B. So I'm writing OB minus OA. If I have a LM vector, LM vector ending at M, so I start from M, OM minus this letter come at the end with O. Every time we introduce O only, no other letter. And for your knowledge, this is called coordinate system. You know, student, we have a coordinate system. This is called two, four. For example, this is called coordinate system. If I introduce just O before A, like O, this becomes vector system. And two up, four down. This is called vector system. Okay. So if it means that if it, for example, B is, for example, is, is one seven. If I introduce O only, then it, O stands for origin. So one seven. So coordinate system convert to vector system. We can go both options. We can go this way also. We can go this way as well. So no problem, okay? So let's introduce. This is a B. I can write what? I can write OB. Now how to write OB students? OB, I just introduce and I write 1 up, negative 10 down. This A coordinate, I can introduce O and it become vector form, 414. Now I can work with that top formula. And how to, okay, uh, and we have a given CA, okay? So I think, uh, yeah, I can work for CA. And what is rule CA? So if I apply CA rule here, so CA rule is very clear. OA minus OC. So I'm writing here OA minus OC. So this formula, I'm using it now here. So CA vector equal to OA minus OC. This value is coming here. I'm writing here uh, minus 11 and 8. And OA, I have 414. And OC is my target. OC will come left hand side, sign will become positive. And this will go right hand side, will become negative. So 414 and minus, minus 11, 8. 
and finally i can find easily so uh, 4 minus minus plus i get 15 and 14 minus 8 we got a 6 so alhamdulillah rabbil alamin i got oc and I, I want to convert back so simple remove the o and c what is c coordinates students so because you have c coordinates c coordinate become 5 15 comma 6 so alhamdulillah rabbil alamin i believe you got my point okay so this part is very clear and let's go for the next part. Next part, he asked me to find BA. And same story, I will find BA. So you know it very well, BA vector, because this vector ending at A, starting from B, so O to A minus O to B. Okay. And OA, I wrote 414. And OB, I'm writing 1 minus 10. And 4 minus 1, we get a 3. And 14, and negative, negative, positive, I got a 24. I believe it's clear. So this is my answer, 3 and 24. And this is my answer of BA. Now he's asking that CA magnitude, modulus. How to find CA given here? And simple, take the, like a Pythagoras theorem. Actually, C to A means, um, it means like a, a, like a triangle. Starting from C, ending at A. So actually, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 11 goes left side and then 8 goes upwards. So it be it behaves like this. So C here and A here. So this is a negative 8, 11 in. And how to find this one? Like a Pythagoras theorem. So C A modulus I can find. So square root of negative 11 whole square and plus 8 whole square. And if you type in calculator, it is giving us a 185 root or 13.6. So C A modulus. I think the point is very clear. And let's go for next part. I think this is over. The yeah, next part is B here. Uh, what a question given here. Read uh, O M is A. Okay. And O M is B. Sure. And given the ratio. Okay. Fine. So uh, M R. Where is M R? Here M R. So this is three ratio from here till here. And R is two. So this is two ratio. So there's a two. And OR is straight line. That is a very clear. Okay, wait a minute, please. Okay, this is a clear. So this is a straight line mentioned here himself. Okay. So he said prove it that OR is this answer. So we have to prove OR. This is target to achieve. OR. How to get OR two ways? O to M, M to R, O to N, N to R. It is your wish. You choose which path. Okay, so I can go for, I can go for any path. I can go for... I can, uh, no problem at all. I can go for this path, O to M. I'm writing here. What is the path? O R vector is equal to O to M plus M to R. This is a planning. So O to M is very simple, is A. So I'm copying A. So only part left, M R. How to get M R? M R is here. So I always teach my students. So because M R is, I'm looking for, I'm writing here two titles. V for vector, R for ratio. Right full or right shortcut, no problem. Vector looking for MR. I'm writing MR, MR vector is ratio three. I write three. And total vector is here MM, MN, MN. And that is three plus two, five ratio. So five ratio. Cross multiply five times to MR equal to three times to MN. Three times to MN. I can do shortcut even, but I think this is a make more clarity, okay. So this five will divide. So MR is becoming what? MR is coming three or five times to MN. So Alhamdulillah, so now this MR same, so I can copy this value here. So three or five times to MN. And MN is not hard to get it. How? Starting from M ending at N. Can I say M to O, O to M? Correct, I can work on M to O, O to N. So I'm writing in the brackets here and question going to finish. And I'm writing what here, uh, M and what? M to O, O to N. M to O, O to N. And what is uh, M to O? It is a very clear approach. You know it. Going this way is A. Coming backward is minus A. Minus A. And O, N is B. So I'm writing here B. Expand the bracket. So plus into minus, minus 3 over 5 times to A. Plus into plus plus, 3 by 5 times to B. Now, there are two A's are there. Take LCM, 5 LCM. You know, 5, 5 match. Sopper negative 3 copy, 3A copy. 
but under here no five so five multiply five times to a five a and if you start type it you got a two alhamdulillah two by five a and plus three by five b so alhamdulillah rabbil alameen you saw we have proved we have done our job okay so this part is very clear students let's go for next plan <clears throat> Next plan is what here? NT. He given NT is this given by him. Okay. And and uh, NT is given by him. And OT is given to OCR. Okay. So C time to OR. Here we have to find it. So we have a path given NT. Where is NT student? NT, NT this path is given. This vector is given. This vector is given by him. And OT is this full given OT. Okay. So what is the plan? I can have, have a two planning. O T is equal to O to N, N to T. Second planning, N to T is equal to N to O, O to T. I can choose any path, any path. Okay, I think, okay, I can go for O to T path. So what is O to T student? O to T vector is actually equals to O to N plus N to T. I repeat the path. This vector is actually equal to this plus this. So I think clear plan. So now, what is OT? OT I replace here. So C time to OR. C time to OR. And what is ON? ON, you can see clearly, ON is equal to B. NT, I copy from here. But OR is, OR is this answer. I'm copying it here. So C times to 2 by 5 times to A and plus 3 by 5 times to B. Equals to how many Bs? There are two Bs and one A. So 4A I'm copying. And from here and from here, B common, I got what? K plus 1. You see? I think done. Now this C multiply inside. I got a I got a 2 by 5 time to CA. Or C here, 2C by AA separate. And C multiply here even. I can <clears throat> I can work like this. 3 by 3C into B. Actually, you know, A, A and B is my actual vectors. So I don't want to uh, keep C with A and B. So C is involving with the numbers, to be clear. Now I'm doing comparison technique. What is the comparison technique? I compare both sides. A coefficient is 4 and A coefficient is that. So I'm writing here the comparing or I'm writing in a blue writing. This part equal to 4. So 2CO5 equal to 4. And 4 multiplied with 5 and it becomes 2C is equals to 20. And to divide, I see get a 10. So T, C, 10. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, clear. Same way the B option. B option is this and B option is this. So I have space issues, so I'm writing it here. So 3C over 5 equal to K plus 1. And this C will go there and 3 times to 10 over 5 equal to K plus 1. And 5 ones are 5, 2s are 10. You got a 6. I got a 6. And this one will subtract. I got a 5, so K value 5. So finally, K value is 5 students. And C value is 10. And I believe we got a point clear. So let's proceed for the next one, our empty vector. Where is empty students? Empty, empty, this vector you talk about. So not a hard job at all. I have uh, many ways to get it. Uh, I can say M2, O, O2, and this one, OK? So and we know this is empty we have even. We have everything, OK? I'm going to replace it. So path writing is what I will use empty vector. I can I can say path writing what student will have a look now. Uh, M to A, O and that, okay. M to O, I'm writing here M to O plus O to N and N to T. And I can plug in all numbers. So let's try M to O is what? Because I'm coming backward, negative A plus B negative a plus b okay and negative a plus b and what is nt nt you have it this here you can see nt is here so 4a plus k and k value is 5 so so 5 times to b i think okay and this and this subtract i got a 3a and 5 plus 1 i got a 6b so alhamdulillah rabbil alameen i think you put up Okay, so let's go for the next page. The next page, we have a 11 question number differentiate. And what is the basic property? Uh, power, for example, x, x to power 10. So when you differentiate this kind of thing, 
10 will come and multiply down and from power 1 less. This is a basic property. So apply and differentiation root when you apply differentiation criteria. So uh, on this whole thing. This statement you don't write, no problem. Direct answer acceptable. 3 will come down. Multiply with that 9 power 1 less. Power of 3, 1 gone, 2 left. 2 will come. Multiply 2 for the 8 and power 1 less. You write 1, you don't write 1, no problem. And there's no power of x means 1. 1, 3 is a 3 and 3 and power becomes 0 and something to power 0 is 1. You write it or you don't write. This is our answer because x to power 0 is actually 1. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, I believe this part is very, very clear. Second equation is asking that write the coordinates of two stationary points. A stationary point means when you talk about the curve has a two turning points, for example, and let me tell you, this turning point, the second turning point, both are called stationary point or turning point, same story. If examiner asks you turning point, stationary point, same. And when the curve turn that line, uh, the tangent is parallel to X axis. It has a zero gradient. And gradient and derivative, they are same. Make sure dy over dx or gradient m. m stands for gradient. And they are exactly, exactly same. So it means I will put derivative equal to zero. But wait, wait a minute before I start. This is the same function, correct. So y equal to x to power 3 minus 4, x to power 2 minus 3x. If I write here dy over dx, students. So this answer I'll copy from the top. Same answer. I will put what here? So put dy over dx is equal to zero. Reason is very clear because the gradient of that point is always zero. That is reason. So I'm, I'm using it now, that same story, 3x square minus 8x and minus 3 is equal to zero. So I can factorize or I can apply quadratic formula. 3, 3 is a 9. I think factorization is working. Let's see. Negative 9 and plus 1. So from here, 3x common, I got x minus 3. From here, 1 common, I got x minus 3. So e is equal to 0. So I and this is matching. If I take common out, x minus 3, you can use quadratic formula. If I take it common out, what left? This and this left. 3x and plus 1 left. So I got two answers. One time this equal to one time this equal to 0. So when I this equal to 0, x minus 3 equal to 0 and 3x plus 1 equal to 0. 3 will go on the other side, become positive 3. 1 go other side, become negative 1. And 3 divides, the negative 1 over 3. So I got two answers. Okay. After having so, I will, uh, because he said the coordinates, not x coordinates. So I put a, I need to find y as well. So I will use a top equation. This equation I use x cube, x cube uh, minus 4x square. So y is equal to x cube. and minus 3x. I will replace every x by 3. Okay, same story students here. I will replace every x by negative 1 over 3. Okay, when I replace these values there, so what happens, let's see. Uh, negative this one and three times two negative one over three. Let me recheck. Uh huh. Okay. So I will get a two values of y against three, against uh, three, and uh, let me type in calculator. So, so against three, I'm getting negative eighteen, and against it means I got coordinate three comma negative eighteen. And, and a second coordinate against negative 1 over 3, when I check in calculator, hold on, this coming 14 over 27. So 14 over 27. Okay. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I got two coordinates. And now he's asking for the what? So he's asking, so you can write in this bracket. So this is a very clear. So here, write 3, here, negative 18. Here, negative 1 over 3, here, 14 over 27. So he's asking the, uh, what is asking, determine whether the station point is maximum minima. So I'll go for second derivative. For that reason, I will I need this first derivative to copy. This is a very important, so copy paste here two times. 
Why two times? Because I have two points, uh, nature fine. So differentiate here, d2y over dx2. This is called second. This two will put on d and this two will put on x, make sure. So what is the derivative? Two will come down and multiply six and power one less. One you write, you don't write, no problem. And minus eight x become eight only reason because one eights are eight and power becomes zero something to power zero is one. I'm not writing. So same story here, six x minus eight. So I have done second derivative d two y over d x two. And I'm now I'm going for what students? Now I'm going for the at at x is equal to three. And at x is equals to one, negative one or three. Okay, students, I will go one by one for the both natures. Okay, so let's see how we can find. I will plug in this three here and I will find the sign. Basic criteria, if second derivative d2y over dx2 is coming positive, is called point of minima. And if second derivative is coming positive, is called point of maxima. I mean, if this is coming negative, so minima in condition positive and maxima in condition negative. And I believe you got my point. Okay. So now students, I will plug in three here. So I get second derivative what? So let's try to do it. So six threes are 18 minus eight. I got 10, positive 10. Positive 10 means point of minima. Okay. The same story here. Second derivative I'm going to plug in. Okay. Again, I plug in uh, this one. So when I plug in six times to negative one over three and minus eight, I got six two and minus 10. And minus 10 is called maxima. So I believe the point is very clear. It means uh, this is done. And we see that this is a point of maximum, this is a point of minima. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, and that paper is completely over. Okay, diagram is not important, he asking. But sometimes he can ask for sketching part even. So it's not a hard job to do it anyway. So best of luck for the exam and I hope so you understood well. And please, those questions which you're not able to solve properly, okay, please redo of the class after this uh, recording, okay, after watching this my clip. So best of luck. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.